split a face. We can use the split face command to add the number of faces without having to refine it. So we don't want to, if we want to refine it, it puts in quadruple the number of surfaces. So let's say on the front of my lens here, uh, I need to have a little more few faces in here. So I'm going to go up and say split face and I'm going to come down here and pick this face and it says where do you want uh, this object to be and I'm going to put it right at the midpoint and I'll come over here and I'll go right straight across and I'll pick and now you'll notice that I got more than uh, another face in there I'll do that again I'll do split face I'll pick this I'll pick right on the midpoint and I'll go straight across and uh, I'll do uh, midpoint here now, let's do this let's put on my uh, ortho there we go I'll come across and I'll pick right there and I'll hit enter. Whoop. Didn't like that. Uh, pick. All right. So now I got another little box in here. So I got these little refined a little more. And uh, I could probably kind of go with that and say, all right, let's uh, maybe indent those. So if I wanted to, to say, extrude the faces of that one and that one. I could say enter and I could specify a height of say negative two right um, then they go in right so now I got uh, those being on the end there so I kind of forming forming my lens in there type of thing um, so whenever we split a face we uh, are actually uh, adding the number of faces on the model so that we can manipulate it in that particular area more by either moving or rotating or scaling or you know extruding and stuff like that